hi guys welcome back to another cute little girl hairstyle right here are you searching for a little bright hairstyle is your daughter going to be celebrating her birthday her graduation and all that stay tuned i'm sharing with you how to achieve this beautiful cute natural hairstyle right here okay so my daughter is four years old and i'm using her as a model to suggest good styles for you guys this christmas for little bridesmaid little brides special events birthdays celebrations and all whatnot so i'm beginning her hair her hair is detangled you guys her hair is um already detangled and sectioned so i took the top of her ear on one side to the other side to get the front section of this hair the rest of the other part i'm going to secure for the back section you guys so you need just two main sections ear to ear the top of her ear to the other side of her ear okay you guys and once i'm done i'm going to secure the back part if you are new to this channel, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. Make sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up, okay? And do not forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I drop a new video, you guys. So, the first part of the hair, let's do the first, the front part of the hair first, okay? So, I'm going to section her hair on one side like this one side like that okay and these sections are going to be three so just watch and i'm using my shine and jam right here it didn't focus my camera didn't focus on it but it's called uh, shine and jam so you can use gel if you want but the problem i have with gel is it leaves white residue on my daughter's hair so this shine and jam doesn't leave any flake on your hair and it keeps the hair really shiny and and smooth at the end of the day but it does not give it a strong hold after uh, some time after touching her hair she has flyovers so but the good thing is it doesn't leave any flyover so i use two um rubber bands and i secure the section like so and i'm going to go ahead and braid it down let me play some music you guys can quickly understand what i'm doing right here just by watching Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping it to a love Life is happy but it's so insane middle part of this hair you have to divide it into two equal sections and braid it into two so the middle section has to have two braids as opposed to the sides which will have one braid each okay you guys so i decided to come in here just to clarify that part Just begun. We will always take a step. So once I'm done, this is how her front part of her hair is looking right now. Cute, right? So I'm going to connect the hair right now. So I take one part from the middle section that is closer to the ear on this side. I connect it together. I'll do same on the other side. Connect the two on the other side together. 
and then I'll come and take one each from each uh, side and connect it together. That was just me doing what I had in my head, you guys. <laughs> and then I was left with one braid on each side each. And I decided to just tuck it in between the sections which you are going to see in the back part right there. I didn't do any other thing special right there. I thought it was just okay like that for the front part, knowing what I was going at the back of her hair with. So I decided to tuck the leftovers in between inside the, the little ponytails that I made at the back of her hair. Keep on watching, you are going to understand. The back of her hair i decided to do five little ponytails going around the back of her hair and i left a portion of hair in the middle which i just twisted and tucked in underneath like so and i went ahead used little rubber bands to do these little pom-poms on each of the ponytails i did two pom-poms on each of the ponytails you guys and i left extra that i could not form any uh, pom poms on it okay now uh, you're left with just playing with the pony uh, uh, pony sections that I made on each uh, ponytail with your bobby pin or if you don't want to go with bobby pins you can just use these round uh, uh, donut forms Put it in the middle of her hair so when you are using a bobby pin it will it go into inside the foam i have it but i decided not to use it just to show you guys that you can use do this hairstyle achieve this hairstyle without the pony the donut foam okay but left to me I i'm going to I, will, I would have used it but if i use it some of you will think the style must be done with the donut foam okay i left that middle part of her hair there as a a support for the other ponytails to come and sit on top and the bobby pins i'm inserting right now are going on top of that hair so it's not touching her scalp she is not feeling any pain but at night i took all the bobby pins out and i let her sleep like that on sunday when we are going to church i'm going to use it again to pin her hair because the whole of Saturday she's not going out so for church I'll go back and pin the hair you can also do without pins okay just grab all the four sections if you have something that will give you volume in the middle and just put a rubber band and pin it in one place that way you can use just one bobby pin that will not cause any tension on her scalp Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please share my kids' hairstyle. This style can go for adults as well. I'm only using my daughter as a model for you guys to bring you beautiful natural hairstyles that you can rock this uh, holiday season for Xmas, weddings, special events, end of year parties. And you are going to be looking all gorgeous. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so so her hair is done at this point and right now it's left for you to play with her edges if you want to lay your baby's edges to be cute do that and go with any accessories if she's a little bride go with the accessories for the wedding i randomly picked some of my wedding pins that i had at home and just inserted it into the hair just to show you guys how your little bride might be looking with this hairstyle and i also went ahead grabbed some white uh, extra accessories and put it at each 
side of the hair so if she turns left right you are going to see each of the uh, beads and it was looking all beautiful and white for little brides and bridesmaids for weddings and your your little bride is going to be looking all cute okay i had this style in my head you guys i'm so happy it, the finishing came came out really nicely and coming out with all these hairstyles trying to be creative and be unique in my own special way just need you guys to give me thumbs up support and i can bring you more cre creativity into life in this channel right here i didn't see this anywhere i just want my hairstyles to be unique simple for moms who are struggling with doing their daughter's hair and tell me who is not going to be using this for little brides right now 2022 come on share my videos with your friends that are getting married suggest this as hairstyles for their little brides little bridesmaids and thank you all for all the support and love and merry christmas to you all please let this video go viral and it took me a whole while to come up with this hairstyle okay so the pins you are seeing at the back of her hair is the wedding pins because they are quite long and i took them off after showcasing these hairstyles to you guys and i love you all for watching keep on supporting me and share my hairstyles share my videos and i'll see you in another video once this one goes viral okay